Okay, so this video we're going to show you how to work with video and logic. Okay, so we go up the file, you're going to find the open movie under movie. And then you go to your desktop and it's going to find a .mov file or something equivalent. Okay, make sure that's QuickTime movie format. And you hit open. Okay, those two um, options are, you want those clicked, um, unless you don't want the audio from the movie. Okay, so there's our movie, it displays, and then if you close it, it shows up in the little corner there. Um, you can also throw that onto another uh, screen. I can drag over whatever loops I want, or I can make my own. So this is essentially me pretending to make a soundtrack for this um, video, okay? All right, now let's say we're done. We go back to movie and we're going to export audio to movie. All right, now it's going to, you're going to give it a unique name, something different. Here you can choose different um, audio formats. I would just stick with the ones that it comes with, put in a unique name, and make sure you include your own name. All right, and then we hit save. All right, now this is asking you, do you want to keep the original sound? If you click on it, you're keeping it. If you click off of it, you're, you're not bouncing the track with the original soundtrack. Okay, so if it does have an original soundtrack and you don't want to use that, then click off of that and make sure you don't include it or delete it from the project. All right, so it bounced. There's our new, um, our new video. Opens up in QuickTime. And we're all set to work with video.